You ready? Are you being a diva? Because you got I, Diana Ross shirt no, on. I... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Now we're good to go. <laughs> yep. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Eric and this is my mom here. Hey, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the shit show sometimes here <laughs> on the channel. Hopefully it won't be too much of that, but we are checking out some more music here tonight. In our last one, I introduced your mom to uh, Young Buck for the first time. And tonight we are bringing back a returning artist. It's been a little bit since we've heard anything from him. And uh, the last time we heard him was actually off the same album, so... Going back to 2007, this is Kanye West, the song Flashing Lights off the album Graduation. This was the fourth single off of that album. Do you recall the last Kanye song we heard? I don't. So it was the one with T-Pain. It was called Good Life. I'll throw your hands up in the sky. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is off of that same album. I okay. think that was a single <clears throat> before this one was. But like I said, this one was number four. Going into that album, he had already crushed it with two albums his debut college dropout which we heard which was the broken jaw song mm -hmm. and then i don't know if we've heard anything off his second album yet but they were both really big his third album from i think either the documentary about him on netflix or an interview i saw that um he said he wanted to like try and sell out stadiums so he was really not like going commercial but making the kind of music that you could just see a shitload of people enjoying in a massive like football stadium mm -hmm. show so this kind of has a little bit of that feel to it it got played on the radio quite a bit so again you might have heard this one but let's go ahead and check it out this is mom's possibly first time hearing flashing lights by kanye west again 2007 this album was full of like synthesizers Stadium music. Well, that's not how he described it. That's what I can She believe in shoes and cars Wood floors in the new apartment Couture from the store's departments You more like love to start shit I'm more of the trips to Florida Order the orders, views of the water Straight from a page of your favorite author And the weather's so breezy Man, why can't life always be this easy? She in the mirror dancing so sleazy I get a call like, where are you, Yeezy? And try to hit you with the old wapi till I get flashed by the pop who rocks me. Damn, these niggas got me. I hate these niggas As more than I the Nazis. Call, I know you love to show off, but I never thought that you would take it this far. What do I know? We will pause it right there. So that doesn't sound familiar at all to you? Not at all. What do you think about it so far? It almost sounds like something that Will I Am would have written. Kind of. I can definitely see that. That's what I'm picking up. What I like about it is, um, you know, obviously he switched up his cadence there in one of the verses mm. that was really good. But I like how it's like a little bit slow. It's like, and then it, and then it yeah. speeds itself back up again. So right. it's almost like two different beats within the same beat i don't know yeah he's a little bit crazy i've said that on the channel here before no. people take me to <laughs> take me to task for it that's fine yeah, cool, cool. yeah so who's the girl he's talking about i am honestly not sure at this point in time this is obviously way before kim yeah way before uh getting caught getting bjs on those boats in italy or whatever that's the most recent thing yeah. from him by the way i watched the the netflix videos of the both of them about their divorce. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I caught mom watching some of that. I did. So, did you pick a side from that? 
I kind of did. Kind of did? Do you yeah. want to reveal it? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. Not yet. I will maybe at the end of this round. I mean, I'm, I'll am i say mine right now. I think I'm probably on her side just because he's so cuckoo for Cocoa cuckoo. Puffs. But uh, I don't know. They say the craziest people are usually the most creative. And there's been a long kind of history of that. Like even going back to like Van Gogh, he cut off his goddamn ear it and all this other stuff. It definitely changed my view on him. Yeah, well, maybe the, if you haven't seen the Netflix documentary on him, that might be a good watch, too. Okay. It's I'll like a three-parter. It just is all about him, but it explains his life. I'll check that and out. And I think that was pre-divorce, so that, that would be worth checking out. Yeah. But let's continue to check out this song here. I know it's been a while, sweetheart. We hardly talk. I was doing my thing. I know what was fair, baby, a baby, late, late, you've been all on my brain. And if somebody would have told me a month ago, front and oh, yo, I wouldn't want to know. If somebody would have told me a year ago, it'd go get this difficult. Couldn't like Katrina with no FEMA, like Martin with no Gina, like a flight with no visa. First class with the seat back, I still see ya. In my past, you on the other side of the glass. Of my memories, museum. I'm just saying, hey, Mona Lisa, come home. You know you can't roam As without I Caesar. Recall, I know you love the show, night off, night. but I never thought that you would take it this far. But what do I know? pause it there one more quick pause before we finish off but uh yeah pretty good references in there did you you remember you must remember show martin obviously oh, martin and gina <laughs> and show night night like i was doing <laughs> who was the neighbor gina or i think it was the neighbor gina's friend that martin hated let me know in the comments down yeah, below i can't I think of her name i want to say it's pam but that might have been like the actress's name i'm not 100 percent positive on that <laughs> Uh, and then the other thing i forgot is i think the guy singing the chorus i believe he goes by the name dwell I might have said that wrong, but I, I think I failed to mention that, so I just wanted to pop that in there, too. Let's finish this off. I don't think there's any more verses. I think it's That was definitely Alvin and the Chipmunks, but uh, all right, that was Flashing Lights by Kanye West. Overall, what were your thoughts? I liked it <clears throat> better than I thought because I don't really care for him, mm -hmm. but to it was me, definitely different than yeah. Anything. To me, this album was the last good album that he made outside of he did a uh, he did a a pairing album with Jay Z years later called Watch the Throne, which I thought was pretty good. But in terms of on his own, like, I never liked his 808s and Heartbreaks, which had the song, like, Two women so hot, live, and everything was, like, so <laughs> auto-tuned. I couldn't stand that. Didn't care for Donda, anything after that. So to me, this was the last great album that he made, which was the finale of the trilogy, his first three albums. But, uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite Kanye songs. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video and enjoyed the music just like Mom did. If you did, of course, hit that thumbs up down below right over mom's shoulder there and uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't subbed yet for the next one we're gonna be getting back into the most favoritist i don't know why my brain went there that's not a word most favoritist most popular artist here on the channel we're gonna get back into some tupac so make sure you come on back for that next week check out all the other fun stuff in between here on headlocks and hot packs but 
From mom, I'm Eric. We'll see you guys again real soon. Have a good one.